In this video, we will solve a numerical problem on utility maximization. The question is like this. If the utility function is being given us is u is a function of, that is utility is a function of 2 goods q1 and q2, which is being defined as e to the power q1 times q2. Prices of a uh, good q1 and q2 are being given us as 2 and 10 respectively. And income of the consumer is $20. We have to find out the optimal bundle that the consumer will purchase. The options are being given here. Uh, we will solve it. So, what is the utility maximizing uh, utility maximization condition? The utility maximization condition is that the marginal rate of substitution should be equal to the ratio of the prices. That is P1 upon P2. Okay. So, let us first write what we are being given here. We are being given as uh, the utility. U is a function of e to the power Q1, Q2. This is our utility function. And also, uh, what is P1? Let me write it here. Price of good, uh, you know, Q1 is being given us as uh, 2. Price of Q2 is being given us. I am denoting P2 as price of good 2, which is being given us as here. 10 and income of the consumer is being given us as $20. Utility maximization condition is that the marginal rate of substitution between two goods should be equal to the ratio of their prices. Okay. So, how do we calculate the marginal rate of substitution? MRS, as we know, is simply uh, equal to the marginal utility of good 1 upon marginal utility of good 2, which should be equal to the ratio of the prices. Okay, P1 upon P2. Now, what is MU1? MU1 is simply, in place of MU1, I can write uh, the partial derivative of utility function with respect to q1 d q1 okay marginal utility of uh, q1 is simply the partial derivative of utility function with respect to q1 divided by marginal utility of good 2 simply it means the derivative of our utility function with respect to q2 it should be equal to p1 upon p2 okay and this actually denotes the slope of the indifference curve and this P1 upon P2 denotes the slope of the budget line. And I will, uh, you know, show it here also. Now, what is the uh, DU upon DQ1 means we take the partial derivative of this utility function with respect to Q1. Okay. Since we have here exponential function. So, what is the derivative of, since we are being given U is equal to E to the power Q1 upon Q2. Its derivative, partial derivative, that is DU upon dq1 will be equal to if i take derivative of this very function exponential function okay and i am partially uh, you know differentiating with respect to q1 so what will be then uh, the derivative of this function we write uh, the coefficient of uh, q1 is here q2 so we write q2 here and then write uh, multiply it with the original uh, you know function that is e to the power q1 Q2. This is the rule of differentiation when we have the, you know, an exponential function. If we are being given an exponential function, let us say e to the power uh, 3x, its derivative is simply the, uh, the exponent of x, sorry, the coefficient of x is 3, we write 3 e to the power 3x. We multiply the coefficient of x with the original function, that is how do we take the derivative. Okay, I am just applying the same rule here. So, uh, du upon dq1 will be equal to, in place of this, I can write uh, q2 times e to the power q1 times q2. And symmetrically, du upon dq2, if I want to find out du upon dq2, again, so du upon dq2, u is this if i take partial derivative of this function with respect to q2 so the coefficient of uh, q2 is here q1 so i will write q1 e to the power q1 q2 okay so i will write here q1 times e to the power q1 q2 should be equal to the ratio of prices that is p1 and p2 are being given us here p1 is 2 p2 is 10 so this is 2 upon 10 here this uh, term will get cancelled 
and let me write it here that means our uh, q1 q1 upon sorry we have q2 upon q1 uh, so q2 upon q1 is equal to 2 upon 10 which gives us q2 is equal to uh, so this becomes 2 upon 10 into q1 okay so i forgot to write the budget constraint uh, you know in the first place what is our budget constraint so we want to maximize this utility function and let me uh, you know use the proper color here i want to maximize this utility function subject to the budget constraint what is the budget constraint we know uh, p1 times units of q1 plus p2 times units of q2 should be equal to our income p1 is 2 so 2 q1 plus p2 is 10 q2 it should be equal to income is being given us as 20 okay so what we want to uh, uh, maximize that is so i forgot this very thing here simply we want to maximize our utility function that is u is equal to e to the power q1 times q2 subject to the budget constraint that is uh, this is our budget constraint 2q1 plus 10 q2 should be equal to 20 okay this is actually the problem i forgot to write it in this fashion so we got q2 is equal to 2 upon 10 q1 so simply plug the value of q2 into the budget constraint here so uh, our budget constraint is being given and q2 just plug here so we have 2 q1 2 q1 plus 10 in place of q2 we have 2 upon 10 q uh, so we have q1 should be equal to 20 so 10 and 10 gets cancelled 2 q1 plus 2 q1 is 4 q1 is equal to 20 which implies q1 is equal to 20 upon 4 which comes out to be 5 so the optimal you know units of q1 that the consumer will purchase is five units to find the value of q2 just plug q1 either in this equation or again in the budget constraint for the sake of simplicity let us plug it in this so q2 will be equal to 2 upon 10 in place of q1 we have 5 so 5 ones are 5 twos are 10 so 2 upon 2 is 1 that means q2 will be equal to 1 that will be the optimal combination that means consumer will consume uh, you know uh, five units sorry one unit of sorry again five units of q1 and only one unit of q2 okay so i have solved it but graphically what exactly does this mean so graphically if i can show it here let us say we have a simple graph we have q1 on this side and q2 is on this axis on vertical axis we have the budget constraint this is our budget constraint that means this is our budget constraint we want to maximize our utility that means we want to uh, you know go to the highest possible budget sorry budget uh, we want to you know move to the highest possible uh, indifference curve and highest possible indif indifference curve will be at a point where our indifference curve is tangent to the budget constraint oh, okay if this is our indifference curve it is tangent at this place so this will give us the optimal units of q1 which is here 5 and q2 is 1 okay so we want to maximize our utility that means we want to achieve we want to reach you uh, we want to reach to the highest possible indifference curve and it occurs at a point where our budget constraint and indifference curves are tangent to each other that means at this point our m r s is equal to the ratio price ratio that is p1 upon p2 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video so q1 is 5 q2 is 1 so the correct option should be this b option that is q1 is equal to 5 q2 is equal to 1 okay thank you